good evening guys, or good afternoon guys, depending on what time you guys are watching this, um, tonight, um, or good afternoon, or whatever time you're watching this, um, we're gonna be making a, um, a 2020 election prediction with Cory Burker, the current United States Senator from, um, New Jersey, serving with Bob Menendez and President Trump. Um, of course, Cory Booker will have an advantage with, in, um, urban areas, in, in, um, with black, with African American voters, minorities, um, and especially Pennsylvania being his, the neighboring state of New Jersey, he'll do well in Philadelphia where it's the, where, um, where the biggest African American population is in Pennsylvania. So let's go over, um, the safe states for both candidates, um, again, the West Coast, again, is safe for Cory, Cory Booker, um, I believe New Mexico will be safe, um, same thing with New York, I'll leave one district safe, um, alone in Maine, again, these, um, New England states is home state of New Jersey, Maryland, D.C., and Illinois, so we'll start off again, like how usually Democrats start off with 190, um, now we'll start off with, um, President Trump's safe states, again, um, these, we'll leave one, um, district in Nebraska, uh, but again, these states are I consider safe, except um, I'll leave Georgia because he um, he'll do well with the African American population. And this will be the starting map. It'll be um, Cory Booker 190 to President Trump's 163. Uh, though I don't okay. First of all, in Arizona, um, which usually happens in most of my videos, I don't believe um, Cory Booker will um, appeal too much to Arizonians. So this will stay. Um, same thing with Georgia, the margin will be very close, but I believe it won't be a one-term blue unless you want a candidate like Joe Biden, like Kamala Harris, maybe Cory Booker, but I don't, I don't see it happening. Um, and sure, after that, I'll say Pennsylvania will go blue because of African-American turnout in the Philadelphia suburbs in Pittsburgh. Um, he'll win um, very, um, he'll win toss counties like Monroe County, um, Centra County, uh, Erie County, etc, etc. So yeah, and same thing in Minnesota. Um, the state is still pretty Democratic, despite it um, trending Republican. Um, but I still believe Cory Booker will um, win that state. Um, but Nebraska, I don't think um, he'll appeal to that one district in Omaha. Um, so that will stay. Um, and same thing in Iowa. I believe that state has, that state has many white evangelical rural people, which Mike Pence helps President Trump with, um, so I believe that state will hold, um, and same thing with Ohio, again, um, the white evangelical vote, um, is in favor of President Trump, especially, um, because of Mike Pence, um, him being a white evangelical, um, so I, um, so that'll help him states like Ohio, Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin maybe even, um, and also say um, North Carolina will be um, red because of, um, it's very rural, um, there is a small African American population there, but I don't believe, um, it'll be big enough for Cory Booker to win. I do believe that, um, he, um, Cory Booker will win New Hampshire, um, because of his appeal to these people up here in New England. Um, though I believe that one district in Maine is very um, rural, very conservative. Um, and he, I believe, will appeal to those people. Um, uh, President Trump. Um, though in Nevada, I believe Cory Booker will um, defeat President Trump in this state because of, again, his appeal to minorities down here in the Las Vegas area with Latino voters, with African American voters, and this will go the same thing with Colorado. Because of, again, the Latino population in this area, the African American population in this area, that will help him and push him over the top in these states. Um, now we have four big states left. We have um, um, all these states except Virginia will for Trump in 2016. Um, but I'll say Again, that one state that went for Clinton will go for Cory Booker because of 
his appeal again. We'll keep saying this over and over. His minority turnout in the suburbs will help him, especially in the Fairfax suburbs, because of the um, African American population in that area. As we saw in 2017 in the Virginia governor's race, how um, how well Ralph Northam brought the vote. Um, it wasn't that Ed Gillespie did bad, it's that Ralph Northam ran up the numbers in the suburbs. Um, because as you saw, he even did worse than President Trump in the suburbs, which led to his defeat. Um, so as you see, um, um, it is um, um, 252 to 231 as of now. Um, but here's one thing. I believe in Florida, um, I believe President Trump will be able to pull off his magic again in the state because of, first of all, his appeal to white rural people in the Panhandle, gun owners, um, and again, he has this, um, this charisma to these voters that, um, as a Washington outsider, um, but, um, I would say the same thing for some states like Colorado and Nevada, but again, they're outraged by some of his comments, some of his things um, um, that he's done so far in the presidency. Um, and this goes, this could also easily affect with the government shutdown. Um, but yeah, um, so we have Wisconsin and Michigan. Um, again, uh, minority voters in the Rust Belt will help Cory Booker. Which will help him win Michigan. As we know, that was this was the um, state that President Trump won by the smallest margin in 2016 um, in the Rust Belt, and I think overall, um, except New Hampshire, I think. But um, I believe that because of African, um, he'll be able to bring out African Americans in numbers that something like President Obama did. Um, in these um, positive states, which didn't allow um, um, Mitt Romney to win these states, John McCain to win these states. Um, so, yeah. Um, now, Wisconsin. If we take a look at the Wisconsin numbers in 2016, um, 2016. In Wisconsin, we know um, President Trump did carry the state in. Um, it was the, um, first state that, in the Rust Belt, that flipped for, um, um, President Trump. Um, it was called sometime around, after the 11 p.m. program. As you see, um, President Trump won it by one point. Um, he won it by about, if you can do the math, about 27,000 votes. We'll say 30,000. Um, and if you see, um, Compared to, if you can take a look, compared to 2012, um, if they'll allow us, um, compared to 2012, if it'll, um, if it'll load, um, well, let's just look it up over here, um, if, um, um, in 2012, um, even with Paul Ryan, the current Speaker of the House, being in, um, being from the state, um, Mitt Romney couldn't carry the state because of the African American turnout in this, um, in Wisconsin. As you see, um, President Obama won it, if you can do the math, by about 210,000 votes. 200,000 votes, if you see, compared to Hillary Clinton's, um, losing it by, what, I said 30,000. So, that's a, a loss of 140,000, uh, 70,000 voters. Um, and just think about it, there were about 70,000 voters in Wisconsin that didn't come out to vote for Hillary Clinton, that did come out to vote for Barack Obama, and if Cory Booker, and the margin that um, Hillary Clinton lost by was more was less than that, and if Cory Booker can even just get half of those voters, he can carry a state, which will put him at 278, because if you think about it, 70,000 voters that didn't come out to vote for Clinton. Clinton lost the state by 30,000, which would mean she, um, if he got those voters out, even at least half, he would win by 5,000 voters. 
plus more minority voters, plus more votes in the urban areas. All these things mount in Cory Booker's favor, which puts him over the top at 278. Um, so this is my final prediction. Cory Booker wins with 278 to President Trump's 260. Again, this could easily change with the government shutdown, with other factors. Um, again, this, um, that could be a scenario where Wisconsin flips. Um, another um, scenario is where Colorado and Nevada flip. Um, even New Hampshire. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you did enjoy. Um, um, please subscribe um, to my channel. It'll be around the middle of your screen. Um, oh, what is that? Oh. Um, yeah, but please subscribe. Um, around the middle of your screen will be my um, channel link for you to subscribe. On the on your left side of your screen um, will be my last video, um, which is a video of. Um, the, uh, an election night that I made yesterday um, between um, the midterms in the Senate of the Democrats and the Republicans. Um, um, yeah, um, on your right will be a different video, uh, a random video of mine. Uh, but yeah, um, I hope you please do subscribe. Check out the video that's on your left and on your right. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.